Good day, everyone. I'm Engineer Charlie Adona from DOS Tech I. I will be presenting our project entitled Development of Low Heat Low Humidity Drying System for DOS Malnutrition Reduction Program Facilities. Most of us enjoy eating fruits and vegetables, not just because of their delicious taste, but also because of their high nutritional value. Consuming these food items is crucial to our health, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic when we need to boost our immune system. To ensure that we get the maximum benefits from them, we need to keep them fresh and preserve their nutritional value. However, fruits and vegetables are seasonal in nature. Due to their short shelf life after harvest, fruits and vegetables are sold in the market at low prices, especially if there is an oversupply. Sometimes farmers being forced to throw away their products. But during the off-season, the price of this produce is expensive. This makes it difficult for us to afford them, which result in not being able to consume enough fruits and vegetables in our diet. There are many ways to preserve fruits and vegetables, and drying is one of the most common preservation methods. However, freeze drying is costly method, and sun drying is prone to contamination. The most common drying technique is conventional or coarse trap drying but it uses high temperature to dry the produce, causing the loss of nutrients. The drying process is driven by two factors, temperature and air humidity. Drying performance is high at high temperature and low humidity. Usually, to decrease the humidity of the air, a high temperature is needed. This is the drying mechanism of conventional dryers. However, at high temperatures, the nutritional and sensory quality of food products are adversely affected. Thus, it is better to decrease the humidity at lower temperature. There are different types of drying system that decrease the relative humidity of air. One is condensation and the other is using heat pumps. However, this system requires a refrigeration system which has relatively high energy requirements. For absorption, only absorbers are needed to decrease the humidity. So, the energy requirement is lower. That's why the DOSTFNRI developed a low heat, low humidity drying system, which is an absorption type system. Our project is started in 2015 when we fabricated our prototype ill tail H dry system with a maximum capacity of 3 kilograms per batch. In 2016, we tested the dryer's performance using mangoes. Here, we observed that the retention of vitamin C is higher compared to the existing dried mangoes in the market. And in 2017, we conducted the application and validation of LTLH drying system to various fruits and vegetables. Results of the study in 2017 showed that LTLH dried fruits and vegetables had 10 to 25 percent higher vitamin C and vitamin A than post trap dried fruits and vegetables. Based on the results of the shelf life study, dried fruits have a shelf life of six months, while dried vegetables have a shelf life of four months. In terms of sensor acceptability, both the dried fruits and vegetables have a general acceptability score of 7, which corresponds to a rating of like moderately. We can say that the low temperature, low humidity, or LTLH drying system is a new innovation in drying fruits and vegetables. The utility model for this technology was awarded in 2020. In 2018, we proposed for a scale up or large scale. LTLH drying system to be installed in an M MRP facility. One technical panel who evaluated the proposal suggested changing the term LTLH to LH2 to avoid confusion with low temperature being mistaken for negative temperatures. The LH2 or low heat low humidity drying system project was approved in 2019 and implemented on 2020 to 2022. During the implementation in 2020, we designed and fabricated a scaled up LH2 dryer. In 2021, we optimized the scale up drying system using fruits and vegetables. And in 2022, we conducted a technology transfer training of the said drying system to MRP adapter in Calatagan, Batangas. The project will benefit the Filipino affected by disasters, farmers, school children, and of course, MRP adapters. The project is crucial given the Philippine size susceptibility to natural disasters like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and typhoons, and the ongoing effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of these calamities and health emergency, 
relief goods need to be provided to affected individuals. Currently, relief goods being given are high in carbohydrates and protein and are shelf-stable. Unfortunately, they have low nutritional value. It is therefore important to provide individuals with products like the LH2 ready-to-eat dried fruit mix and dried vegetables that can be easily added to instant noodles. These are the project deliverables, the fabricated LH2 dryers, and the dried BG mix and ready-to-eat fruit mix. We also have the technology transfer manual and operation manual of the dryers. In case, this will be transferred to other adapters. These technologies are now ready to transfer to interested adapters. And to those who want to adopt these technologies, you may write a letter of intent addressed to our director, Dr. Emil de Angeles Sagdepa, Director for and Scientist for ABDOSTFNRI. That's all. Thank you and have a healthy day ahead.